Welcome to our online celebration of St. Patrick's Day, a day which always brings together our Irish diaspora, a day where we feel particularly proud to be Irish. And of course, we don't limit our diaspora to those of us who hold an Irish passport, but we extend our welcome to anyone who has an affinity with Ireland and who feels Irish on this special day. This is the third St. Patrick's Day celebration for our new embassy here in Colombia. We had a fantastic celebration in 2019 where we held the first ever St. Patrick's Day parade in Bogota and had a lovely reception. Last year, we were very sad to have to cancel our planned festivities at the last moment and not be able to celebrate with all of you in person. The 12 months since then have been difficult. The pandemic has taken a lot from us and will continue to do so. Many of us have lost friends or family members or seen them go through really difficult illness. And I'm really conscious today that many are still suffering. We also have not been able to see each other in person and this has made us feel alone or separated from those we love. But we know that the restrictions are worth it and we can finally see hope on the horizon that this difficult time will soon pass. Of course, we have meant, learned many things from this time. It has allowed us to reach greater numbers with our cultural campaigns, such as Irlanda Inspira, that this embassy ran, and to increase our contacts right across the country by somehow cutting out the distance which separates us. We got to know more members of our Irish community as they reached out to us for advice, and we helped over 170 Irish citizens get home. We do hope that someday soon travel can resume and that Irish people can once again visit this beautiful country and also that Colombians can get to visit Ireland. But this difficult year has reinforced our conviction and I know that we share this conviction with Colombia that the only way to get out of this is together. We have long worked closely together at the multilateral level to solve issues of shared concern, and I know we will continue to do so. Indeed, Ireland and Colombia share a very particular experience of living through and overcoming conflict, and this has brought us resilience. I have every confidence that we will overcome the challenges of this pandemic, and I'd love to share with you today an important Irish proverb. Ni kiart go la which means there is strength in unity, and by working together, we will and can achieve more. So, to all of our Irish citizens in Colombia, in Panama, and in Venezuela, I want to wish you a really happy St. Patrick's Day to you and your families. La fela porik honagwiv guler. May the year ahead bring recovery and relief, and lots to look forward to. And of course, to all of our friends in Panama and in Colombia, we also wish you a muy feliz día de San Patricio. Now, as is our tradition, I am delighted to share with you the St. Patrick's Day message of our Taoiseach, Michal Martin. Thank you, Ambassador. And I would like to wish you and everyone in Colombia a very happy St. Patrick's Day. A de Gael is a card de Galer. Los Pashilta e la ela podrig, the Gach Gael Sawalya Nu Harlar. St. Patrick's Day is a special day, a day when no matter where in the world we are, we celebrate our heritage and culture. So let me begin by wishing you all a happy St. Patrick's Day to our 70 million strong diaspora and our many friends across the globe. This has been a difficult year for our Irish community abroad. Many of you have lost loved ones. You have been unable to spend time with family and friends. You have missed Christmas, birthdays, weddings, and sadly, even funerals. I want in particular to acknowledge and thank the many Irish who have helped lead the fight against COVID-19, our dedicated health workers at home, but also the many Irish doctors and nurses, research scientists, and public health officials around the world. Many of you have put yourselves and your families at risk so that others might be safe. But now, at last, we can look forward to better days. St. Patrick's Day is our day, 
But that doesn't mean it is only for us. St. Patrick's Day is an open-hearted invitation to a global expression of community. It's a day that gives us a unique opportunity to speak to the world about who we are and how we can contribute to the well-being of humanity. There is, I believe, an ambition that we all now share, that we will learn from what has happened and that our responses will reflect both our interconnectedness and our interdependence. Just as the pandemic has brought out the best in us, we can use the same instincts to shape the future, bringing new meaning and values to our lives and to our role in the world. We are Irish, but we are also global citizens. COVID-19 has reminded us that we need global solutions and international cooperation for global challenges. That no nation, large or small, can meet these challenges on their own. St. Patrick's Day is an opportunity for us, this year especially, to express that sense of solidarity. Ireland is an open country, an outward facing place. Irish people have always sought to make a contribution wherever they have gone. The same wish to serve inspires us now. We will work with partners around the world to overcome the dreadful pandemic and to support economic and social recovery. In doing so, we will work to make sure that nobody, especially the poorest parts of the world, gets left behind. We've taken up a seat on the UN Security Council for the next two years, and we will use that position to work for peace and security throughout the world to the very best of our ability. We will continue to reach out a hand of friendship and hopefully, when we can, to welcome people back to Ireland, including those of you that have been unable to visit in recent times. As Irish people down the ages have done, we will try to make a difference every day, no more so than here on our island. As we approach the centenary of the foundation of our state, building on the achievement of the Good Friday Agreement, we will work through our shared island initiative to underpin peace and to advance the cause of reconciliation, shaping a better future for all the people. Our history, our culture, our values and our experience place us in a position to do great good in the world. There is an Irish saying, is there ska a chéile Avaran Nadini. We live in each other's shadow. It speaks to our sense of interdependence, of community and solidarity. Let that be our message on this special day for the Global Irish. And so to conclude, we are thinking of you all today as you celebrate throughout the world. We are looking forward to welcoming you all home soon. Until then, Berbua, Benacht, Thank you, Taoiseach, for your inspiring words, giving us all hope at this time. Now I'm going to introduce some dear friends of our embassy. First of all, I am absolutely delighted to share with you a message from the Colombian Foreign Minister, Canciller Claudia Bloom. Canciller, muchísimas gracias por compartir con nosotros hoy su mensaje. Su Excelencia Alison Milton, Embajadora de Irlanda en Colombia, miembros del Cuerpo Diplomático Acreditado, Comunidad Irlandesa en Colombia, estimados señores y señoras. En nombre del pueblo y del Gobierno de Colombia, quiero expresar mis más sinceras felicitaciones al Gobierno y al pueblo de Irlanda con ocasión del Día de San Patricio. Una celebración que ha trascendido las fronteras de Irlanda y ahora se conmemora en distintos países del mundo. Esta conmemoración es también una oportunidad para destacar la importancia de las relaciones entre Colombia e Irlanda. Nuestros estados gozan de una relación profunda y renovada. Somos socios en materia comercial y de cooperación y nos unen importantes lazos en el campo bilateral y multilateral. Nuestras relaciones diplomáticas se establecieron en 1999, pero los lazos son mucho más antiguos. Colombia recordará siempre a Irlanda como un amigo desde el origen mismo de nuestra nación. El general irlandés Daniel O'Leary fue decán del libertador Simón Bolívar 
y el coronel James Rook dio su vida en la batalla del Pantano de Vargas. Colombia abrió su embajada en Dublín en octubre de 2018 e Irlanda hizo lo propio con su misión diplomática en Bogotá en enero de 2019. A partir, a partir de esta apertura recíproca hemos alcanzado importantes hitos en nuestra agenda bilateral. Irlanda cuenta con considerables inversiones en Colombia. En 2020 llevamos a cabo un encuentro de la red de empresarios colombianos e irlandeses en el que participaron empresas con importantes inversiones en Colombia como Smurfit Kappa, Mainstream Renewable Power, además de Irlanda Viva Air. También intervinieron los ministros de Comercio de Colombia e Irlanda con el objetivo de potenciar las oportunidades comerciales y de inversión entre ambos países. El énfasis estuvo en la recuperación económica en el contexto del COVID-19. Quisiera resaltar la participación de Irlanda como miembro no permanente en el Consejo de Seguridad de la ONU. Los esfuerzos de Irlanda en materia de construcción de paz y reconciliación son garantía de una destacada participación en ese Consejo. Irlanda constituye un gran aliado para Colombia en la implementación de la política de paz con legalidad. Aportes que incluyen su participación en el Fondo Europeo para la Paz y el Fondo Multidonante de la ONU para el Sostenimiento de la Paz. Asimismo, valoramos en este campo el intercambio de experiencias en talleres donde han participado expertos irlandeses y la Alta Consejería para la Estabilización y Consolidación. En el marco de las celebraciones del Día de San Patricio de 2019, Colombia recibió la visita del ministro de Comercio, Empleo y Negocios de Irlanda, Patrick Brim, quien encabezó el primer desfile oficial del Día de San Patricio en Bogotá. Este año, las celebraciones tendrán que llevarse a cabo desde la virtualidad, pero no por eso son menos significativas. Importantes símbolos colombianos se vestirán de verde para unirse a la celebración. Entre ellos, el Santuario de las Lajas en Ipiales, la Ventana de Campeones en Barranquilla y los Centros de Convenciones de Cartagena y Medellín. Reiteramos nuestra voluntad y disposición para fortalecer los lazos de amistad y cooperación que unen a nuestros estados, en especial en materia de inversión, turismo y comercio, y en cooperación en la industria agrícola, implementación de la política de paz y legalidad, y en innovación y emprendimiento. Agradezco su atención y nuevamente les deseo un muy feliz día de San Patricio. We are so lucky to have a number of fabulous Irish artists here in Colombia and indeed in Panama. This year has revealed a wide range of inspirational talents amongst our community. Katie James, Rebecca Winkworth and Carolina Arango all took part in our Irlanda Inspira cultural series that the embassy ran during the pandemic. Today, I want to share their talents with you and hope that you find them as inspiring as we do. My young love said to me, my mother won't mind. And my father won't slide. Lack of kind, then she stepped away from me, and this she did say it will not be long left till our wedding day.
St. Patrick's Day is a time to celebrate the brilliance and diversity of contemporary Irish creative talent at home and abroad. Next, we're delighted to share with you some moments of artistic inspiration to lift our spirits in these most challenging of times. On a sunny weekend last year, 41 children from Ork Dausa Dance Club became a choreography and film collective dancing to the music of the Bothy band in favourite places near their homes in Leitrim, Sligo, Roscommon, Mayo, Fermanagh, Longford and New York. Together they have created this shared celebration. much for joining us to celebrate St. Patrick's Day on Ireland.ie in this oh so different and difficult year. I hope to see you face to face again very soon and at next year's celebration I am sure we'll be able to raise a toast to each other in person. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Feliz Dia de San Patricio. Law fela podrick honogwiv goler.